seconds, and next time by, it'll be two laps. This will be, for Chevrolet, their 350th nationwide series win if Harvick can hold on. And Harvick's saying right now, don't anybody screw up. I don't need a caution flag. Everybody drives smart. And this pit crew's thinking, please win this thing so you can bail us out. Here's the other thing. Remember, he said, if I'm having fun, I may go for the championship. What do you think? Is he well, having fun? If he wins this race, he's going to be having a lot of fun. And if he wins a lot of races, I think he'll make that decision to run for the championship. Going around some lap traffic there. And now, next time by, it'll be the white flag lap. His last win in the Nationwide Series was Atlanta last white September. White flag. One more time. One more time. A mile and a half to go for Kevin Harvick. Two horrendous pit stops, and he has fought his way back and still leads by 1.4 seconds over Denny Hamlin. Amazing job Kevin Harvick's done with his nationwide team, his truck team. It's just uh, incredible machines he's building. Great talent. As he gets through turns three and four, it'll be his second win here in Las Vegas and the 35th of his career as he comes across the stripe. Kevin Harvick comes back from near disaster on pit road and takes the win over Denny Hamlin by 1.3 seconds. Carl Edwards third, Brad Keselowski fourth. Gotta work on pit road, but this thing's a bullet. And Brian Vickers fifth. And you, first thing out of his mouth, let's work on pit road. Yeah, we got to work on it, but I'll tell you, if he hadn't crossed that line first, <laughs> it would have been a different conversation. Yeah, and that yeah. was a lot better attitude yeah. out of Harvick that time. That's Good great. run for him, boy. Great fast car today. Bailed his pit crew out. A total of 18 cars finish on the lead lap with uh, Joe Nemechek rounding out that uh, 18th car. And the congratulations going on in the pit crew as uh, I didn't think we'd get this one in. And let's check in with Dave Burns. With Ernie Cope, and uh, when we talked yesterday, you didn't want to give the crew too much credit for a good week last week, and boy, they struggled today. How do you resolve having the W over all that? Well, I mean, he passed more cars than anybody today. Uh, we had our worst day, I think, ever on pit road. Uh, he, he kept his cool pretty good for, you know, for uh, what we had going. <laughs> you know, the best, best that, could, that could be expected. Uh, I mean, the car was good, and he drove his butt off, and he, uh, he just picked him off one at a time, and we got a clear air, and we're gone. You told me last year, after the disappointment of crashing and leading so much, you were just going to pick up where you left off. You kind of did that, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Uh, last year, up to the point where we crashed, uh, we led the most laps, and we just come back with the same setup, brand new race car, and uh, it, it, I think we got pretty good Vegas setup. And a whole lot more smiles this year, Marty. Absolutely. As you see, the victory celebration beginning the checkered flag being dropped down to kevin while we uh, pointed out the top five how about sixth place trevor bain came back last week after the crash at daytona to finish 11th now he has a career best sixth at age 19. It's good medicine for him yeah. and again stephen wallace he rounds out the top 10 so the streak stays alive five races in a row in the top 10 and uh, Paul Menard finishing in eighth. Another great run there. At, remember, they were a lap down at one point after a penalty on pit road. Andy, what about this track? It just keeps getting better and better. It with does. Age. This track, since they've redone it, has been just uh, phenomenal. The amount of grip and the amount of racing we've seen today is uh, it's pretty neat. While we've got a moment, let's talk about your ticket to the race because we have had three great runs so far, and here's where we're heading to next. Bristol Motor Speedway, March 20th, then on to Nashville, April 3rd, then Phoenix, Texas, Talladega, April 24th, Richmond, Darlington, Dover, Charlotte, and back to Nashville. And that gets you all the way through June. All you got to do is NASCAR.com slash tickets, and we'll see you at the track. What about that Bristol, though, man? New racetrack? It's going to be wild over there. And an unhappy Kyle Busch uh, as he comes across the line in 16th position. And again, he's just going to look back at this one and say, well, some days, are, me. some days are better than others. He had a great run last week, got a good break, got a win. Carl Edwards came across the line in third. Let's talk to him. He's with Jamie Little. Well, there was a lot going on today. First of all, his first race here as a dad. He had his old crew chief back. Yeah. You guys got out of pit sequence early, yet you still finished third. Describe your race, Carl. Well, the race, uh, the race uh, changed a lot. You know, at one point we were leading the thing, and um, 
I was just cruising around, and I thought, man, this is it. We've got it. And uh, it was just a, a, a lot going on in that race. And uh, Drew did a great job. Uh, Mike Kelly did a great job getting us here. It was a good point today, but we really wanted to get a win for Copart. Uh, you know, if, if anybody out there is looking for a deal on a car, Copart.com. They're a great company. Um, I've used them and just want to get them to victory lane. So, uh, you know, a good run for Ford as well. But uh, we're working on it. Drew said we were one-tenth off, and uh, we'll, work, we'll work on getting three, and then we'll be great. Well, that's three consecutive top five finishes for Carl Edwards. Marty? All right. Thanks a lot, Jamie. As uh, we get ready now to head down to the Hellman's Victory Circle, as uh, Kevin Harvick has made it to victory lane. Twice before, Kevin Harvick has led the most laps here at Vegas and not won, but today leads the most laps and does win. How good was this race car to be able to make up for the spots that you lost in pit lane today? Yeah, just, um, you know, the car was really fast. We got a, we definitely got some work to do on pit road. Uh, luckily, the car was fast enough today, but I got to thank Ream. Um, they've been uh, with us for a long time, and they're the only sponsor that we hadn't taken to victory lane in everything that we've done. So Ream, Chevrolet, Jimmy Johns, all the fans for sticking with us and everything that we do. Armor, who am I missing? Uh, Longhorn, Charter, everybody that helps uh, helps us out on this car. Now we heard on the radio there was sometimes it was a little difficult to keep your composure <laughs> after those miscues on pit road, but how did you regroup and get this thing to the front again and again and win this race? Well, I get mad and uh, they know how I am and they know what I expect of them and that's not uh, that's not what we, what we expect on pit road. We expect to, our pit road performances for all the effort that we put into it to be like what we are on the racetrack. But um, I learned a long time ago that you you can only you can only gripe about it for so long and then you got to go back to driving the car. So earning these guys have done a great job. They work really hard week in and week out to give me cars like this and uh, we'll fix that pit road deal and get it so that we can show up. I like that every week. Man, he drove the wheels off of it today. Kevin Harvick wins in Las Vegas for the second time in his career. Marty, Dave, and Vince Denny Hamlin, a strong second place today, but a leader on the last restart. What happened? Yeah, we just, uh, those tires got us, but I'm, you know, I tried to drive in as hard as I could, but, uh, you know, wasn't risking, uh, you know, tearing this uh, interstate batteries car up. Uh, got to say hi to uh, Norm. He's, uh, you know, back at home watching, but, you know, we, we just didn't, we never got on the same cycle as those guys and, uh, you know, those new tires. Kevin had a good car uh, for most of the day. We just, we fought track position. As soon as we would get to somebody, we'd just get aero tight. So, um, overall, it's a, it was a good day. You know, we started running back to him there at the end. So, we got something to at least build on. Second place for Hamlin. Jamie? Brad Kozlowski brings it home. Fourth, what happened there early? Uh, we just, uh, you know, trying to be smart and uh, uh, had some kind of, you know, engine issue. I'm not sure what, uh, but it, it, it would come and go. And uh, by the end, it was really strong. We had a great discount tire dodge. Felt like uh, we're as good as anyone else. Just bought some track position. But, uh, you know, the biggest thing from this weekend is we qualified well. It's the first time I've ever qualified well on a track like this. And we showed speed all week long. So, we'll just keep working out the little bugs and uh, we'll find ourselves in victory lane and he jumped up to second in the points alan yeah, yeah. okay jamie thanks 